Welcome back dear students to video number 2 for standard 7 mathematics. We are discussing chapter 13 Pythagoras' theorem. In the previous video, we discussed what is Pythagoras' theorem. In a right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. According to this, we have a square plus b square is equal to c square. Let us continue. Practice set 48. Question number 1. In the given figures, find the value of x. So this is a given figure of a right angle triangle. Tri L M N. Angle L M N is 90 degrees. That means L N is the hypotenuse. L M is the height. And MN is the base. <clears throat> so by Pythagoras' theorem we have, after we have written the given information, we will write this by Pythagoras' theorem. We have length LN square is equal to length LM square plus length MN square. This is important to write the formula for Pythagoras' theorem. In the next step, we are going to substitute the values of these which are given over here. So, ln is x. That means x square is equal to 7 square plus 24 square. The square of 7 is 49. So, we have 49 plus square of 24 is 576. When we add these, we get 625 x square is equal to 625 and this is nothing but the square of 25. So 25 the whole square. x square is equal to 25 the whole square. Next step is by taking square root on both sides I get x is equal to 25. So my final answer the value of x is 25. Now if this particular number had units my final final answer will have unit since no units are mentioned you can keep it as it is or you can just write over here 25 units next quest sub question so this is the figure and that's the right angle and this time again we are asked to find the hypotenuse uh, sorry this time the hypotenuse is PR. Hypotenuse is opposite to right angle. So hypotenuse is PR and we are asked to find the height. The base is given to us. So let's say length PR square because that's the hypotenuse is equal to length PQ square plus length QR square. Let's substitute 41 square is equal to 9 square plus X square. 41 square is 1681 which is equal to 81 plus x square. Now let's rearrange them further. We have x square plus 81 is equal to 1681. Now I bring this 81 on the other side. The sign changes. So I get x square is equal to 1681 minus 81 which is equal to 1600. That means this is the square of 40. So I have x square is equal to 40 square. Then on taking square root, please mention over here the reason. It is not mentioned on the screen, but while writing, please do mention on taking square root on both sides. Therefore, x is equal to 40. The value of x is 40. Next, sub question 3. This is the figure now. Hypotenuse is given to us. One of the side is given to us. We have to find the other side. So by Pythagoras' theorem, EF, which is the hypotenuse in this case, EF square is equal to length DF square plus ED square. Let's substitute 17 square is equal to 8 square plus X square. 17 square is 289 which is equal to 64 plus x square. Now, x square plus 64 is equal to 289. Let's bring 64 on the other side. 
so we get x square is equal to 281 minus 64 which is 225 and that is square of 15 so we have x square is equal to 15 square then on taking square root on both sides we have x is equal to 15 the value of x is 15 Question number 2. In right angle triangle PQR, angle P is 90 degrees. If length PQ is 24 centimeters and length PR is 10 centimeters, find the length of QR. Now this is how the triangle will look. Triangle PQR, angle P is 90 degrees, length PQ this length length pq is 24 and length pr is 10 we are asked to find the length of qr which is the hypotenuse we write the given information and then we say by pythagoras's theorem length qr square is equal to length pq square plus length pr square then substitute the values 24 square plus 10 square which is equal to 576 plus 100, which is 676. But 676, my dear students, is the square of 26. So therefore, length QR square is equal to 26 square. And then taking square root on both sides, we have length QR is equal to 26 centimeters. Final answer. The length of segment QR is 26 centimeters. Next, question number 3. In the right angle triangle LMN, measure angle M is 90 degrees. If length LM is equal to 12 centimeters and length LN is 20 centimeters find the length of segment mn now you can draw a rough diagram for your reference triangle lmn where angle m is 90 degrees therefore segment ln will become the hypotenuse so according to pythagoras's theorem we have ln square length ln square is equal to length lm square plus length mn square now let's substitute the values this is 20 square is equal to 12 square plus this we do not know we need to find out so let let us keep it as it is length mn square now we rearrange the terms and we get length mn square is equal to 20 square minus 12 square 20 square is 400 minus 12 square is 144 when we subtract these we get 256 and this is nothing but square of 16 so length mn square is equal to 16 square then we take square root on both sides and we get length mn is equal to 16 centimeters. The length of segment mn is 16 centimeters. Next question. The top of a ladder is 15 meters long. The top of a ladder 15 meters long reaches a window 9 meters above the ground. What is the distance between the foot of the ladder and the base of the wall? So imagine the figure looks something like this where A is the foot of the ladder, B is the base of the wall and C is the window. So this is the ladder, this is the wall. Both these measurements are given to us and we are supposed to find this distance from foot of the ladder to the base of the wall. So AC my dear students is the hypotenuse in this case because angle B is 90 degrees. BC is, the, is one of the sides and AB is the other side, the base. 
So we write the given information. Let BC be the wall and AC the ladder. C is the window. Therefore, length AC is 15 meters. Length BC is 9 meters. We have to find length AB. Let length AB be x meters. Then we use Pythagoras' theorem. By Pythagoras' theorem, we have length AC square is equal to length AB square plus length BC square. Which is 15 square is equal to x square plus 9 square. 15 square is 225 and 9 square is 81. And we rearrange the terms. x goes on the other side. This comes here. So we have x square is equal to 225 minus 81. When we subtract this, we get 144, which is the square of 12. So I have x square is equal to 12 square. And I take square root on both sides and I get x is equal to 12 meters, which is the distance between the foot of the ladder and the base of the wall. So my final answer, the distance between the foot of the ladder and the base of the wall is 12 meters. My dear students, it is of extreme importance for this particular chapter that you are aware of squares and how to take out square root. So you need to practice that as well for this particular chapter. Please practice the sums in your notebook. Write down these sums. We will stop here. We will meet in the next video. Till then, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.